I've been acting for about 22 years now. I started in Ireland, I'm from Dublin. I fell into it. Like my mother is a pastry chef and my father's a butcher, so no one thought, oh hey, look at this six-year-old, she'd be a great actress. It's more just, it found me in the weirdest ways. I either looked like the mother in a project or I was in the right place in the right time. It was so much luck. And it's just so fortunate that I found something at such an early age that not only I loved, but I craved. Like there was a few years, I would say 13, 14, where I was questioning, hey, should I continue doing this? Like now it's impeding school. Now it means having less friends and traveling so much. And I took probably about six months off from auditioning and I missed it. And I think it was that moment, right? It's that moment where you decide, oh, I miss it. So it was important to sort of, to go back to it. Emily Thomas, her story is different and something we're creating sort of from scratch. It's not, it's not the normal fable. She's there willingly and that's the difference. It's creating a woman who you think decided to do that. So you know she's not stupid, you know she's not lost, and you know she's not um, naive, yet she's innocent enough to be drawn in by the allure of Miguel Galindo, to be seduced by the easy Reyeses, but to remain strong and solid and clued into her surroundings. So that's like a new balance that we, I just feel like I haven't seen before. I think what is great is it might surprise Emily as well as audiences for many seasons to come.